you know, the, the singularity sometimes called the, the uh, techno rapture or the rapture of the, of the nerds. It is supposed to be this hypothetical future event, which may occur, would, you know, many influential figures in Silicon Valley would argue that it's going to occur in the very near future. So definitely within our lifetimes, maybe within the next few years. And it's a, it would constitute a fundamental rupture in human history. And even more, it would be an event of cosmic significance, right? So the idea is that the pace of technological change would rapidly increase exponentially to the point where the world would be just a dizzying phantasmagoria for us mere human minds. Like things would just happen so quickly, we could not make sense of it. So imagine like the amount of change that's happened in the past 100 years happening every single minute, right? So that's on the other side of the singularity. And a key part of the singularity is this idea that once we develop AIs that are sufficiently quote unquote intelligent, then they can take over the process of designing the next generation of even more intelligent AIs. So you get this positive feedback loop whereby like as soon as you cross this critical threshold, then very quickly after that, you get super intelligence. The way it ties into transhumanism is that these people see everything as an engineering problem. You and, and Gil have, had mentioned like this lack of appreciation for the dignity or the sacredness of the human. I mean, the human is just a machine that is hackable and should be hacked. This is the idea of biohacking, you know, hacked and re-engineered and, and modified in very, various ways to improve it, right? So once you have super intelligence, you have a super engineer. They literally use the term paradise engineering. So once you have a, su a super intelligence, you have a super engineer who can then engineer paradise immediately 